Hey guys, Orkan1 here. Minecraft Snapshot 14w11a just came out, and here's what's new. There isn't that much new, um, but there's, of course, a lot of bug fixes, some stuff, uh, new stuff behind the scenes, more, of course, towards the plugin API, and some also some other new cool stuff uh, for everyone. So here's what's new. Uh, added Endermite. Endermite is a new mob. It's very similar to the Silverfish. If I get a Silverfish right here, and it's, uh, let me get actually a sword back so I can kill them. Uh, if I spawn a silverfish, you'll see this is what a silverfish looks like. Most of you probably know what it looks like. And if I spawn an endermite, this is what an endermite looks like right now. Pretty much just a silverfish without the outline, without the spikiness stuff. And the AI apparently doesn't let it move really much right now. I'm not sure if it's going to be added in the future or not. And it also has the enderman, um, enderman particles. Now, an enderman will actually spawn these things when it teleports sometimes. Now, so if I spawn an enderman... There's a chance that when it teleports, it'll spawn an endermite where it left. Uh, and these things actually do attack you the same amount of damage. They do the same amount of damage as a silverfish does. So, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Maybe it's not. I don't really know. Go away. Okay. I got you mad. Never mind. Okay, that guy's not going to spawn anything right now. Um, blocks will now use internal states instead of metadata. Metadata will be will still be used for a while, and block states of the block being looked at will now be displayed in the F3 menu. So currently this is only set up for redstone and doors. Uh, if you know blocks like redstone and doors and a lot of other things, but right now it's only set up for these two blocks, have two different states. There's the on and the off state. And same, same thing with door, which is open and closed. Of course, fence gate has that too, open and closed, but it's not set up for it now. So if I open the F3 menu, you'll see as I hover over redstone, on the top corner over here, it says block redstone dust, uh, east none, west none, south none, power 14, north um, uh, north side, and like whatever block I'm looking at, it will do that for it. So it'll just say the name of the block if it does, isn't set up for it right now. Uh, but also with doors, it tells me that the door is not powered uh, and it's not open. And same here with this door, it's not powered, but in this case it is open. So I have a feeling this will be really powerful in the future because I think the current metadata system only supports up to 8 bits of data and this will, um, I assume, allow for a lot more than that. Um, improve the models. So converted fence gates, brewing stands uh, to the new model system. And basically what the new model system is, it's using this new format that resource packs will now be able to edit. So resource packs will be able to edit the models of the blocks themselves, of the three-dimensional blocks. Uh, so that's it's really cool, like not just replace the texture, but like replace the form of the block. So it's a, it's a very cool new thing that I think will it'll really change a lot of things. I'm very happy with all the changes. Let me just do this last time set day with all the changes that Modem's been making for map makers because I think it has so much potential uh, for what can come in the near future. Uh, changed minecart physics, improved collision and uh, position handling. There isn't much um, of that to show, and there was also apparently a change of the furnace to make it more useful. I'm not quite sure what this is. If you find out what it is before I do, definitely comment below to tell me. Right below the like button, comment in the, in the comments. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, I'll have a link to this snapshot in the description below. Uh, not the snapshot, not the download. Because you don't do that anymore. You go into your launcher, create a new profile for your snapshot. If you have one already, you can just click select a new version. I'll have a link to the changelog in the description down below. Have a nice day. See you later. Bye.